If ever there was a dream team in the golden age of Hollywood, it would have to be Rita Hayworth and Fred Astaire. Their 1942 film, You Were Never Lovelier, was the first time I ever saw them dance together and I was hooked. The film was directed by William Sider, who had directed Fred in a previous film that he did with Ginger Rogers uh, called Roberta, which was in 1935. The unforgettable music was by Jerome Kern. The film has an eclectic supporting cast. They're all fantastic, though. Um, Xavier Cugat, of course, is the band leader. And I always think it's kind of funny to, uh, that he married Charo. Um, they were married for 12 years, um, which is just kind of a funny piece of trivia. Um, and then, of course, Adolf Manjou, who was wonderful. And then Adele Mara and Le Leslie Brooks played the sisters of Rita. One of the boyfriends of the sisters in the film was Larry Parks. And amazingly, only five years later, he would star as the leading man opposite Rita in the film Down to Earth in 1947. My favorite song and dance number in the film is I'm Old Fashioned, and I'm guessing that it's probably the same for many of you. Um, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful dance, and he incorporated her uh, Spanish dancing in the number, as he did with the previous film they were in, You'll Never Get Rich, in 1941. One of the fun stories that Fred Astaire regaled later was that they had to rehearse uh, the numbers for this film in a funeral parlor um, because of space reasons or something like that. And um, he said that every time that a funeral uh, would be coming through, they'd have to stop rehearsing and, you know, be very quiet and... Um, uh, wait until the funeral was over, which they both thought was hilarious. And of course, my second favorite is the spectacular uh, Shorty George number, which is just so much fun, and you can see how much fun they're having. However, uh, Rita had quite an experience during this number. She actually slipped on a formica on the formica floor and landed flat on her face. She said, "Spread eagle." Uh, and was knocked out. And um, she said when she came out of it, she was so embarrassed because here she was with the great Fred Astaire and she's falling on her face. In my other video about the making of You'll Never Get Rich, I mentioned about how much Fred loved working with Rita and someone wrote and said, well, the reason is because she did everything he told her to. And, you know, there's some element of truth to that because she was um, very shy and uh, was very used to being taught by her father how to dance, but I also think that he loved her, her good nature and how professional she was. He wrote in his autobiography that the first time he rehearsed with her, he walked in and she wasn't there and he wondered, asked someone, well, isn't Miss Hayworth here? And they said, oh yes, she's been here for quite, quite a while already and she was over in the corner just sitting quietly waiting for him. So he really admired her professionalism. In this number, The Shorty George, there's a part where they cut away from the dance and show Xavier Cugat, who is uh, leading the band. And I've always wanted to see that part that they cut out, that part of the dance. And as much as I love Coogie, I really wish uh, that they would have kept uh, that part of the dance in the film. This humorous photo of Fred falling down might have been to assuage Rita's embarrassment over falling on her face. I love Rita's exuberance in this photo, and also I love the costume that she wears for this number. And speaking of costumes, Rita's costumes were designed by Irene, and they have a nude illusion quality to them um, that was quite different for her, and they're absolutely gorgeous. This was the one she wore for the I'm Old Fashioned number. This costume was worn in the last scene of the film and uh, in a lot of publicity portraits. And I'm going to devote a future video to the photos uh, that were taken in these gowns because they are absolutely stunning and they deserve their own video. This stunning gown is seen prominently in the film, but they filmed a complete dance number with her wearing it. And it was cut from the film, if you can believe that. You can see a snippet of it in the trailer, though, thankfully. But I hope someday someone finds the whole number. 
Rita briefly wears this cute jumper in the film with the monogram of her uh, character on it, Maria Acuna. It was later worn by Marilyn Monroe um, in the Columbia 1948 film Ladies of the Chorus, with a different monogram, of course. There are many beautiful publicity photographs of her wearing this negligee from the film, but this one is my absolute favorite. This chic ensemble was one of Rita's favorites. Uh, it's in the scene where she's with uh, Adolf Manjou, but she loved it so much that she actually wore it when she had her handprints and footprints cemented in the forecourt of Grauman's Chinese Theater. And I love this candid snapshot of her taken by a fan. Rita is positively luminous in this lame dressing gown, but it's barely seen in the film. I absolutely love this halter day dress. She looked so beautiful because she had gorgeous arms. Uh, here she is uh, behind the scenes with her secretary. This bridesmaid dress is in the wedding scene, of course, and where she first meets Fred Astaire's character and gives him the brush off. As I mentioned before, there were many beautiful publicity photographs taken for the film, but there's one in particular that I just love because you don't very often see unretouched photos from this particular film. In this particular photo, you'll see that they have yet to retouch the veins in Fred's forehead. They haven't yet retouched the creases in Rita's face, the hair on her shoulder, or the bubbles in her dress. And God forbid there should be any leg showing through the dress. They'll retouch that as well. The movie studios wanted you to think that their stars couldn't possibly be mortal. Behind the scenes, there were many visitors to the set, including Rita's beloved mother, Volga, who unfortunately would die just a few years after this photo was taken, and her not-so-beloved father, Eduardo, and her cousin, Carmina. A teenage Shirley Temple stopped by for tea, and there's Cougat and Manju on the left. And then here, Fred seems to be manhandled by the women. And it looks here like Shirley might be lobbying for the part of Fred's next dance partner, much to the chagrin of Rita. I love this series of photos with the Columbia mailboy, who I'm guessing brought Rita packages as often as possible if this was the reception he got every time. Of course, there was an endless amount of meticulous upkeep on the costumes and the hair and the makeup. Here, Rita seems bemused by a letter from one of her fans. Between takes, Rita did her fair share of publicity, but she did a lot of work also for the Hollywood canteen and the war effort during this time. Rita and Fred shared a very playful and affectionate relationship with each other. She was quite shy, but he adored her. And, and as much as he would have loved to have made more movies with her, he just did not want to get stuck in another partnership. He'd been partners with his sister Adele in vaudeville and on the stage. And as much as he loved working with Rita, he did not want to get himself tied down to another partnership. Here are a few more fun backstage candids. Here's Rita relaxing in her dressing room between takes. Here she is singing with Adolf Manjou and there seem to be a series of these singing photos. Here's another one with Leslie Brooks and Adele Mara and then um, director William Sider got in on the act. William Sider must have wondered how he got roped into this publicity stunt with this little piglet, but I guess it's all in a day's work in the movies. I'm going to close with my very favorite photos from this film. This is John Floria taking a shot of the two of them on the set. I've always loved this candid of Rita taking a break uh, during a photographic session on the roof of Columbia Studios. The complete joy and vivacity of their musical numbers together is really captured in this photograph, I think. And my all-time favorite, 
Rita and Fred enjoy each other's company between takes of the Shorty George. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned.